Hi guys, I wish to take you through Visual Basic project in water management or water billing system. Therefore, I want to demonstrate how this system works. Therefore, these are the files. And for that case, we shall open the system. Uh, once you open the system, you'll get that um, we have the the reports you also have the module and forms but uh, i want us to see how it works therefore you launch this is how the system loads this is the splash form of the system now once the fresh uh, that is the splash form uh, roads you have to key in the the password the username if i also key in the username and if by mistake, I choose the wrong, that is the wrong department. I have a message access denied, invalid username, category, or password. Therefore, Don is an administrator, and therefore, when I click on sign in, I will be allowed to uh, sign in. And once I sign in, this is my dashboard, and for that case, you can be in a position to add new user from this point. You can also log off or close the application. Then on the other hand, you can have these modules. We have the application module. We have the application charge. We have client application. We have uh, consumption application. We have bill. You also have payment application, disconnection, and reconnection on the other hand we have the reports like now we can see the applicant we can see the application charge client client uh, clearance you can also have consumption uh, bill payments or disconnection um, reports then we have the calculator here we have methods of payment and not pound. for instance if we go to application uh, ladies and gentlemen this is the uh, this is the application window uh, in the application window, we shall have the application name, ID number, address, location. Then we have the telephone number, application date, then application type. Therefore, when you hit on new application, uh, you see now these text boxes are active in that I can be in a position to uh, now capture a new guy here then I hit on update and you realize that when I hit on new application these other buttons that I am not supposed to have are inactive and therefore you can choose the application type whether commercial or residential from here then we have the that is the first record we have previous record you also have the next record and uh, last record here therefore this is the application window then you can also go ahead and look at the client application this is the client application we have the client name client ID number client address client location telephone number account number and application type therefore for that case here you can hit on uh, the same uh, right now uh, these are the ones that I have had therefore this is the GUI for client record therefore we have the these feeds and also we have the respective buttons that um, we are supposed to have then on the other hand you can also come up with the consumption application here yeah. this is the consumption application window therefore when i hit on that one you have the client name account number meter number plot number we have consumption units then we have date red and uh, client sheet number. Therefore, this is the. Okay, we have the consumption application. This is the consumption application GUI. Therefore, we have the client name, account number, meter number, plot number, then cons uh, consumed units. We have date red we also have client sheet number therefore when i hit on uh, new 
you've been in a position to see that this uh, that is the this these text boxes are opened and then the buttons that I'm not supposed to be using they are deactivated therefore this is done through the coding then on the other hand we can carry on we have the we can have the beer this is the bearing window uh, for the bearing window we have the client name we have account number we have meter number we have previous meter reading we have current meter reading then we have charge per unit yeah then we can also have the gross cost other charges amount due bill number date date uh, date due and also the deadline date therefore you can see i can be in a position to uh, capture that one then i can quit on this gui therefore this is the beer uh, bearing gui then we can also have the that is the payment application this is the payment application therefore let's just uh, look at the payment application here payments application yeah first of all stop the program then we can also try to see how that uh, graphical user interface looks like if we have these ones this is the receipt therefore just go to view code therefore ladies and gentlemen this is the uh, this is the GUI for payment we have client name we have the account number current meter reading amount due payment date we also have the amount paid balance payment method and receipt number then we have respective uh, that is we have respective uh, buttons accordingly then uh, if I run run the program again if I run the program again that way uh, we wait for a splash form to finish then we go again now this time round I want to uh, log in as an accountant therefore done to then we also have done we have this time round I want to log in as a uh, that is as a user therefore you see here logged in as user then uh, if I logged in as a user you see I will be only allowed to do the application and also see the bill here and also I cannot add uh, uh, I cannot add uh, users here and also for the reports, I only be in a position to uh, see the reports that uh, that is the reports that um, I'm supposed to see as the user. Therefore, on the other hand, you see I can be in a position to get the calculator uh, here from the tools, and also can be in a position to get a notepad so that uh, I can be in a position to write something. Therefore, if I go out of that we go back as the as the accountant this time around we have logged in as an administrator we have also logged in as a user therefore this time round let's log in as the accountant therefore the accountant is done one that way therefore we want to log in as the accountant and see the accountant window Therefore, the accountant window, you see for the accountant window, we shall be in a position now to get this. Like now, we can see the reconnection GUI, uh, where once the payment has been done, then the, the accountant can update the reconnection details here. For the clearance details, that is for reconnection, we have client name, account number, balance, disconnection status, then we have um, uh, amount paid, then the connection fee, balance, then the connection number and clearance date. That is for the accountant window. You can also have you can also have the consumption, like we have the consumption record. The accountant can be in a position to see the client name, account number, meter number, plot number, consumption units, date read, client sheet. Therefore, uh, that one can be accomplished from there then on the other hand these are the reports that 
uh, the accountant can be in a position to print from here like now this is the application judge and that is a receipt for that case we also have like now he he want to have the to see the clearance therefore this is the receipt for uh, for clearance then still this guy here can be in a position to okay mm, payment methods this one we shall add later therefore the accountant on for that case can be in a position to access some parts uh, that is some parts that cannot be uh, accessed by the user and for that case ladies and gentlemen these are the forms therefore we have the application form this is the GUI for application form this is how it looks like therefore these are text boxes these are rebos these are rebos then once you want to see the code like the code for update you just double click this is the code here you will be in a position to uh, get the code also we have the that is the form bill this is the GUI these are text boxes these are rebos then on the other hand these are uh, these are um, we call them the command buttons that have been created there therefore you can be in a position to go and look at how this one has been accomplished on the other hand these are the reports these are the the reports you can see where the that is the report header this is where the heading is put then the detail this is where the content is put then after having uh, having that ladies and gentlemen we have the connection module here though it's not a must you connect using a module you can use other methods like the adobe that i took you through in our last session and also you can use a doc therefore it's not necessary that you use this but this time around i have provided you the code for connection using the module Therefore, you just uh, create a new module here, add module in, in, in case, uh, instead of uh, uh, using a doc. And uh, for that case, if, for example, we now again run this again, this is the splash form, it's here. Uh, if now we allow the splash form to load that way, then I just log in, log into the system, down done there then i choose administrator therefore my that is um my system will be my system will run like that now on the other hand ladies and gentlemen you need to note that uh, there are those photos therefore this is the first photo here this is the first photo uh, then we have the second photo yeah, that's why you can be in a position to get them then on the other hand if I open for you the database if I open the database where my data is saved this is what we have we have the application table we have application charge we have bill table we have client table we have consumption disconnection table and login therefore let me open this for you this is where I am keying in the password therefore when you register when you register from this module here when you register from this module here new user when you register from the new user text department okay when you register from the new user that is in the in, in that part the data is saved here Autom or alternatively you can add users directly here and give them the department then you can log in therefore this is the microsoft access database and uh, you can access it therefore you can just go to design view and see the feeds therefore these are the feeds uh, the feeds have been uh, assigned exactly the way they are supposed to be therefore ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching i have uploaded this database sorry I have uploaded this whole folder this one this whole folder with uh, this system on my website and therefore I uh, just go to my website you'll be in a position to see visual basic water billing system then you can just download for free and uh, use it for practice purposes you'll be in a position to see every code and in case you need to have the passwords just open this database i have not logged just go to login uh, use this or change if your name is x just have x 
here as the username and your password here then try to log in but also remember to assign the department either user accountant administrator uh, etc that way then after doing that you will be good to go therefore there is no password that is hidden this is for practice purposes ladies and gentlemen and therefore just download it from my website for free otherwise thank you very much for watching see you in my next session